today's word? Megafauna. 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 Can you say megafauna? Sure, megaphone. Not megaphone, megafauna. Oh. Megafauna. Exactly. Megafauna. 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 I knew you could. What the heck's a megafauna? Let's talk about megafaunas. The word megafauna is derived from the Greek word megas, meaning large, and the Latin word fauna, meaning animal. Wait, Greek and Latin? I didn't know you were bilingual. I guess so. Anyway, like I said before, the word megafauna is derived from the Greek word megas, meaning large, and the Latin word fauna, meaning animals. Put them together and you get megafauna, large animals. In modern zoology, the word megafauna is used to refer to large animals in a specific area, habitat, or geological time period. Animals are usually classified as megafauna under two thresholds. Those weighing more than 100 pounds, which includes things like deer or bears, and technically, even humans like me. And those weighing more than a metric ton, like whales or elephants, or maybe even your prize-winning bull. That's a big one. But the term megafauna is most commonly associated with the large animals of the Pleistocene. Pleistocene what? Pleistocene, the last ice age. Gotcha. More than 10,000 years ago, North America was much cooler than it is today, with some parts of the continent covered with giant ice sheets and glaciers. Many of the animals that thrived during the Pleistocene were large and hairy, just like you. I shaved my legs. My point exactly. Here in southern Idaho, we had the Columbian mammoth, giant ground sloths, and the dire wolf. Idaho was also home to woolly rhinos, short-faced bears, saber-toothed cats, and even huge bison with horns like a Texas longhorn. You mean bison latifrons? How'd you know? Just finished Googling it. But what about camels? Right. We can't forget about camels. Idaho and much of North America was home to a distinct genus of camel during the last ice age. This genus of animals goes by the name Camelops. There were camels all over southern Idaho during the last ice age. In fact, you can still see camel tracks near American Falls in hardened mud that dates all the way back to the Pleistocene. Today, camel bones can be found in gravel deposits all along the Snake River Plain. So are bits of mammoth bone, and even mammoth teeth. In the 1960s, an excavation crew working just downstream of the present-day Prine Bridge uncovered the remains of three adult Columbian mammoths. What happened to them? No one really knows. By the time paleontologists from Idaho State University reached the site a few days later, most of the mammoth bones had been collected by locals as souvenirs. Mammoth memorabilia? I guess so. But the data from that site is now lost to science, and we may never know the truth. Hmm, now I'm mega disappointed. What can you do? Hey, thanks for joining me. I think this was a really good chat about megafauna. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Megafauna. You. Drop the man, bitch. Megafauna poop. Megafauna. Megafauna.